Alright folks, so today we're doing something a little bit different. I did pick up some green screen equipment and uh, that's what's getting me this background behind me. Uh, I got a request to do a power test for on some Baofeng radios. And uh, I've done power tests on other handheld uh, handy talkies and I guess that's where this requester had gotten the idea. So today we are going to do a UV5R and a UV82. So stay tuned and uh, we'll go to the desktop. Oh yeah, and before I forget, if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up, subscribe, uh, leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks. Alright folks, and we're back here at the desktop. So, in order to accomplish this power test, uh, there's a couple things we're going to need. One of them is an SWR and power meter, and this is the Nisei R40. And uh, taking a look at this, we're going to make sure this is set at 15 watts, and we are set over at power, because we're not going to concern ourselves with SWR for this particular test. We're going to start with the UV5R. It's my understanding this is rated at a high of 4 watts and a low of 1 watt. If you take a look at this, it is an SMA male connector. So we are going to need an adapter that does SMA female to SO239, I'm sorry, <laughs> PL259 to connect to our meter, which is an SO239. And on the back, you can see that it has TX, which is your radio side, and antenna. In this case, our antenna is going to be this MFJ dummy load. And that means that uh, what we are going to transmit won't be broadcasted. It will be absorbed by that dummy load. So let me just take a few minutes to get everything set up. Okay, you can see that the UV5R is set to the 2 meter calling frequency and 70 centimeter calling frequency. It doesn't really matter because our, our signal is not going to be broadcast because of the dummy load. And let me uh, zoom in a little bit on this. Alright, here I believe you can see everything. Let's just go into our menu and check our power settings. There we go, it says text power high or transmit power high. So that should be four watts. So let's go ahead and get out of here and give it a shot. Well, that isn't four. <laughs> That's probably less than two. Anyhow, let's go down to low power and see what we get there. And it looks to be very close to the same, at least a little bit over one. So that's a little surprising to me to see that the power is so low on the high setting. Well, maybe I'm not so surprised. Let's go ahead and switch over to the other band, the 70 centimeter band. So here we are on high, and as you can see again, it's not at four, it's more like two. Let's go ahead and switch to uh, low power. And it's right around the same. So there's either something wrong with this radio or something wrong with that meter. And I'm going to say it's the radio because I measure all kinds of stuff on that meter and I get better results. Let's go ahead and put on the other radio, the UV82. Okay, here we are with the UV82. Let's go ahead and do the power test. Menu. Text power, let's set that to high. And this is rated at 5 watts on high. Ooh, we actually made that radio uh, go off, which I guess is okay. You can see it's just under high. It's probably around 4, 4.5 watts. Here we are at low power, which is 1 watt. And it's just over, so that's pretty good. All right, now we're on the 70 centimeter band. Let's go ahead and check our power. It's set for high. And we're right at 5 watts. Let's go ahead and set the power for low. Remember, this is supposed to be 1 watt. And it's actually almost a 2. So there's the power test, folks. Take it for what it is. 
I uh, hope you appreciated the video. Go ahead and uh, click the thumbs up, like, or subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it.